next presenter is dr roshan he will be presenting on dark side of the moon a closer look at refractive practice surgery has been around now for decades. Excimer laser and femto laser rule the roost. Over 28 million procedures have light been performed so far worldwide. With greater understanding and advances made every year, corneal refractive surgery has become safer than ever. And excellent patient satisfaction post-operatively is guaranteed. But this can turn the other way around, just like picking a tarot card. Let's look at the dark side of refractive surgery using these tarot cards. Dryness in the eyes is the most common side effect of refractive surgery and can be the main reason for patient dissatisfaction post-surgery. Up to 95% patients develop dry eyes post-refractive surgery, but this is usually temporary. It is a multifactorial condition and its causes include damage to the goblet cells during docking, stromal nerve and subbasal nerve damage, inflammatory damage in the cornea, the change in ocular surface and tear blood distribution and infrequent blinking in post-operative period due to reduced corneal sensation. But is refractive surgery the only culprit? Large number of patients choose refractive surgery because of intolerance to contact lens due to dry eyes. Hence, comprehensive dry eye evaluation pre-operatively is necessary. Ocular surface disease index scoring is a good method to quantify dry eye symptoms and can make the patient aware of it preoperatively. Raised OSDI is a good indicator of inflammation. All patients who have raised OSDI need complete dry eye evaluation. Raised OSDI pain score with normal shermers and tear film breakup time is an indicator of pain without stain, which is usually associated with inflammation near the nerve endings. This has to be treated by anti-inflammatory medications. Vitamin D and B12 deficiency also play a role. <coughs> this patient underwent photorefractive keratectomy for low myopia and has not gained good quality of vision. She had no risk factors for the development of haze, but still ended up with haze. Why do low myops develop unexpected haze post photorefractive keratectomy? We decided to have a closer look at the cell biology for answers. Epithelium was collected in all patients who underwent PRK. Gene expression in epithelium of patients who developed haze was compared with age and power matched controls. It was found that eyes with haze had reduced expression of structural proteins and increased expression of pro-inflammatory genes. Hence, development of haze is a multifactorial process which leads to abnormal wound healing. Chronic and subclinical inflammation can play as a hidden factor causing haze. Here is a patient who had good vision immediately after refractive surgery, but presented few months later with blurring of vision, which improved with glasses, but refractive acceptance was variable. What could be the cause for this? We tried to roll out the usual suspects. 
Cornea topography was not suggestive of ectasia and dilated refraction revealed improvement in uncorrected visual acuity without any refractive acceptance. This is suggestive of accommodation spasm, which was also seen in aberrometry with increase in aberrations from internal optics. On looking into literature, we found that accommodation spasm is known to occur in conditions of acute stress and excessive near work. Treatment of this patient was done by strong cycloplegia for a few weeks, which was slowly tapered. Refractive surgery is quite a safe procedure until something goes wrong. Like the time I lost my flag during a microkeratom LASIK. I placed a bandage contact lens and let the cornea heal. But the patient was disappointed with her vision for surgery and demanded for solution. Her corneal topography was irregular, OCT revealed epithelial irregularity and there was increase in abrasions arising from the cornea. We decided to treat this patient using topo-guided neutralization technique. Treatment was first planned by changing the Q value to 0 and then ablation profile was decided according to TNT protocol. Post-operatively, there was increase in unaided visual acuity, regularization of corneal topography, topo-guided treatment can help in the management. Good preoperative evaluation is indispensable to in prevention of dry eyes. Inflammation in neuropathic pain is influenced by vitamin D and B12. High OSDI is clue regarding presence of dendrites around the nerves. Preoperative inflammation may be a factor in development of case. It is important to seek and treat inflammation and factors influencing them. Accommodation spasm is more common than we recognize. Aberrometry evaluation, if available, will show high internal aberrations, strong cycloplegia, and gradual tapering of the needle. Flat loss is uncommon. Topo edit treatment may be our savior. Sentence you can